Hello and welcome back, everyone, to Space Simulation Toolkit. We're, we're live, but you're probably watching this on a recording, but if you want to see it live and make suggestions, you should hit the little subscribe button down below. Today, I, I'm here to, to let you know that Mr. SST has fixed major bugs affecting Windows 11 in this game. Meaning that you can play now if you were having problems before. Uh, very exciting stuff. Worked with him to, to figure out the problems I was having. They're fixed. It's awesome. Always play the demo first though. Make sure it supports your system. But it's time to start throwing things at other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to toss it at this tank here. Oh, and later I want to build a gun. Like a working gun. I, I really do want to uh, build one. So we're gonna do the, actually, you know what, let's do it. So this isn't a channel where we talk about doing things, we just do them. So let's build a, uh, build a uh, projectile launcher because I don't want YouTube to demonetize me. We'll call it a, a projectile launcher. So how are we going to build a projectile launcher? I have, I have a plan. You see, the plan is very simple. It's gonna be by replicating real life physics. You see, how a uh, pew pew machine works is that you have an expanding gas accelerate around. We can simulate this in a space simulation toolkit really easily by just making the size of smoke and fire larger than the size of whatever we're burning. So when it burns, it technically gets bigger. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill the back of this with oil. Oil is going to be our propellant because it's like the one thing that burns in this game. So basically we're going to put some fire in here and then we're going to select the fire and we're going to modify fire to be larger. Yeah, uh, the largest we can really make it is this. Tripling in size may be enough, so let's see what happens if we light this on fire. How do I... It's really hard to actually get fire inside of here. Move this, move this pixel of uh, fire. Can you please catch everything else on fire? That's oil, right? That is oil, correct? Yeah, that's oil. Why isn't it catching on fire? Maybe I need to heat it. Maybe it needs to be very hot. Rather than just throwing fire onto it, maybe it becomes fire once it is hot. Oh yeah, this is it. Yes! Okay, so you can see they're growing. They're growing! They're growing! Yes, this is exactly what we want. A chain reaction of growing gas. We just need it to happen faster. <laughs> this is not happening fast enough. We need a true explosive force. Um, let's increase the amount of heat pretty substantially. We need, we need a true explosion here. Okay. So it is, it is actually, you can see them expanding. I'm curious if I add more oil, like do I just need to add, add more? Okay. Lots, lots more. Okay, so that, that is definitely building up some power, but it's not really pushing. So I think it's because the mass is, is too low. The stone is definitely not fixed in place. I just wanted to test that. So... Yeah, we're, we're not we're not quite there yet. Okay, um, let's see. We got we got oil. It's burning and becoming fire, which is larger than oil. Which is like step one is complete. We figured out step one. Only issue is it's just not pushing. Which means, in my opinion, that the fire's mass is too low. So we're gonna turn the fire's mass. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ah, we crashed the game. Okay, too far. We, we pushed it too far. Part of this game is repeated failure, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and now we're going to do almost the same thing again. Okay, we're gonna grab oil. And we're gonna fill this up. What is this? Is this smoke? I feel like this is smoke and I've been gaslit. Yeah, it's smoke, there is smoke. Okay, so we need to increase the size. We need to increase the size of s smoke as well that that's part of the problem it was fire was then becoming smoke and then shrinking again and so we we were just absolutely getting cooked okay but it's okay 
Uh, we're just going to... Oh! Wow. That... Did that oil literally just become water? Wait, no, that was... That was smoke. Why, why did the smoke become... Water? What? Now I'm really confused. I, I'm really confused now. I, I have no clue why that happened. It's okay, though. It's fine. I'm just gonna... Well, let's do one thing at a time before I literally go insane. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get this moving. We're going to increase the sea distance on these as far as the game will let us. We'll increase the size and we'll increase the mass. So now this fire has like a lot of mass and it's very large. And then we're going to turn the distance up, size up, and then we're going to turn the mass up on that. Becomes water. I, I cannot answer why that happens. <laughs> I, I, I literally, I think it's supposed to be like the results of combustion. I, I think that's what it's supposed to be. Not, not doing it, YouTube. Oh no, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> why? Why did it do it again? Yeah, a little annoying. We got to redo it again, but it's okay, guys. Like, we, we've been through worse. You've watched my videos, which means you're used to being tortured. <laughs> Self-deprecation. Okay, um, we have our projectile here, which is actually slightly fused with the barrel of the gun. Not intentional, but good enough. I, I wonder if that would actually... You know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to attach it so that the particles can't escape. Um, now that I think of it, that may improve our odds. We're gonna call this method the Viper method because I have no chill. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oil, oil, and I can actually really pack this in by turning down the, the sea distance. Yeah, that's a lot of oil, look, that, that's a ton. Here we go, I, I have confidence this is actually going to work because now with it packed that tightly, it's got to, it's got to work. All I have to do is get fire and smoke and, and do what we discussed before, right? When I unpause, they should get big. Yep, they got big. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. And now what's going to happen um, is, please don't crash when I delete these. Please don't crash when I delete these. <laughs> Not again. Uh, okay, great. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna heat up this oil. When it combusts, it's going to get larger and because it gets larger in a fixed space, they're going to push on each other, which means that technically it should shoot this out at, at great, great force. Uh, in order to test this, we will put a rock wall here. Oh Lord. Okay, yeah, turn that back to one really quickly and build a wall. We're going to have the viewers pay for it. There is a wall. It's slightly damaged just from the whole being born process. You guys know what it's like being born though. Sometimes there's a little bit of damage. I mean, I had brain damage. I still have brain damage and that's just how it goes. Um, we're going to now go ahead and test this. But first, so that we don't have to redo this, every two seconds when something crashes, we're gonna save. We're going to now shoot the wall. All right, ready? We're gonna heat this bad boy up. Thank you for the $2 super chat, Polo. I, I really do appreciate it. You guys are supporting the channel, and when you support the channel, you support me. And guess what? I'm gonna let you do the countdown. Everyone is is really, really anxiously waiting for the countdown. What? What? She just he dropped up. Oh! Oh! He says zero immediately. I wasn't ready for that. Oh God! Uh, unpause. Unpause. Wait. What? Why can't I? Un what is happening? I, I'm. I'm. I am literally hitting space repeatedly, and nothing is happening. Did I break time? No, no, no. Physics are definitely working. Okay, okay. It's okay, everyone. It's okay. I meant for that to go better. Um, let's try that again. I uh, grab our ability to heat. And then hopefully we pop some of this into fire. No, it's it's literally doing nothing. Why is it doing nothing? Why Why is the oil not burning? Maybe... Maybe fire needs... Oh, do you think it doesn't... Oh, that would be bad if it needed actual room. That would kind of ruin the whole... <laughs> oh, it does need room! Oh, no! So if it doesn't have room, it doesn't convert. 
Oh god, that's really not good, because that kind of ruins the entire concept. Oh boy. I mean, it still generates a bit of force. Maybe the, like, the crazy movement will allow it to find space to expand? Oh no. We need to we need to fix that. Uh, the sea size maybe without the sea distance. Nope. You mess with sea size and you crash the game pretty much. Guys, we might we might have a slight problem. I'm not I'm not really I'm not sure. Yeah, we, we may we may have an issue here, but we're gonna come up with a solution, don't worry. I'm all about solutions. Okay? Usually saltwater solutions. Okay, so how do we make it so that this properly expands? I I'm sure we can come up with something. I'm sure we can come up with something. Okay. So we're gonna turn the sea distance down to like 1.6 because I think that is part of our problem. I do think so. And then I'm going to hit play. These are going to disappear. And then we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. I feel like it's still not going to do what I want it to. Um, unfortunately, just because it needs space. But how do we make it not need space? That's a question. So what we need to do is probably um, get more creative. We have to find a way to allow the fire to spawn. Let's make a little bit of space here. Yeah, let's let's give them a little bit of space. Just a little bit of space because they are kind of crammed together. And now let's see if they at least convert. Like they do they do actually they do actually burn now. You can you can definitely see that it's becoming Yeah. And you can see the smoke actually gets pretty large still, but the fire, the fire is the problem. I wonder if I can actually ask uh, the, uh, I wonder if Mr. SST is actually on right now. Let me, let me check. Actually, I think Mr. SST may be online. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ping him. There's a chance, there is a chance. I mean, we could do a funny. Like, there's a simple way to do this, which is that I could just take oil and just, like, double its sea distance and then hit play. Wow, uh, it needs more mass, I guess, to actually get a kick out of that. Wow, it's really packed together. <laughs> it's really packed together now. Let's actually just test using really simple... Uh, we won't even do combustion. Let's just create a pressure cannon. Several legitimate weapon systems use compressed air to fire projectiles. This is not this is not like something that doesn't happen. I don't feel like I'm cheating by doing this. It's still it's still reasonable. But we need a lot of air. A lot of air. Like a stupid amount of air. Like a an incredible amount. And you can probably tell it is bending. So we just need more pressure. So I'm gonna turn the sea distance down for oh there we go! Oh actually that that launched with quite a bit of force. Um I, I feel like we could probably we could probably get even more force too. Um if if we're smart about this, we can probably get a lot out. Are you kidding me? It's when I delete. Like legitimately when I delete, it freaks out. Okay, but that's okay because now now we have an actual like way to launch things. So let's go ahead and redesign this. I remember the lore. Okay, and then we're gonna take our air particles and um, we're going to go ahead and do the same things we did last time. I'm gonna turn the mass up even further. I'm gonna turn the sea distance up to that 1.7 like golden spot where everything is nice. And we're going to hit play. Okay, now I'm gonna save here just so that we have the properties of things correct. All right, I want to try um, having it be a more instantaneous reaction, I think. Thank you, Polo, for supporting Soap Gang. I will petition to get Soap into this game because I think it's important. That and Colloids. 
Colloids and soap are both very important to me. All right, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an insane amount of air, right? That That is actually a literally insane amount of air. This is probably going to crash my PC, but it's okay. It's all right. Millions of particles just crammed together. What could possibly go wrong? Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build a little uh, thing to hit. I'm going to build a car. You know what? We'll do a cyber truck because it's actually very easy to draw to draw a cyber truck because it's basically a rectangle. Actually, I should have a little cabin inside with a person. Here we go. Here we go. We got the we got the we got the cabin. There aren't actually back seats in a cyber truck, but mine is going to be better. We'll put a passenger. Oh my god, look. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then he will have his uh, prisoner in the back. Oh, Mr. SST is responding to me. All right. We're gonna we're gonna save this again. Air air, air ah! Slight issue that when you type, <laughs> when you type it uh <laughs> it counts it <laughs> as pressing the space button, but that's okay. Okay. Oh no, it's not okay because I never uh turned up the max speed of the simulation. It should be like 3,000, there we go. Oh, you know, it's fine. Okay, so we we did actually impact it with some, some, some power. Um, we're gonna try to actually do something here though, because I'm not, I'm not completely, I'm not completely happy with this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo this. Don't worry guys, it's fine. It's fine. Spike Viper, more like rebuild the simulation 84,000 times. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, um, here's the deal. Here's the deal. We're going to do this again. Uh, we're going to do almost the exact same thing, except I'm gonna do a steel projectile, which is going to be connected via very small steel connections here. I feel like that's going to be a lot more powerful. And then we're going to uh, increase the maximum velocity of the simulation because that was a huge mistake <laughs> having it too low. So now we're gonna save this again and now we're going to uh, load her up! We're gonna load her up with a whole lot of air! All right, tons of air, just a stupid amount of air in here. Three, two, one. Oh yeah! Oh, okay, yeah. So like, it, it 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 definitely accelerated it, but I'm I'm still I'm still feeling like we could do better. I feel like a lot of the force is just that the air, which that is where the force should be coming from. But I, I feel like I feel like the air is actually moving very slowly. I'm not I'm not getting the sort of velocity out of this that I want. We need something that is more angry. I wonder if I just need more air with lower mass, but then it's harder for it to push things is the only thing. <laughs> he's he's going to try to add this feature while while we're live. <laughs> what well, what a guy. What a guy. All right, in the meantime, we're going to try to do this again. Nuke cannon. We don't even have nuclear physics. Maybe, maybe steam will actually work. So oh! 